So the last and the final use case that I want to discuss and demonstrate today is how ID Prime Virtual replaces the need to have a physical smart card and how using virtual smart card we can achieve all the use cases that we can do using a physical smart card as well. So in order to do that, let's first connect to the middleware, which is SafeNet authentication client in this case, and see whether we have any virtual smart cards or smart card connected currently. So as you can see, everything is grayed out. There is nothing connected to the to my laptop currently. So I'm going to launch ID Prime Virtual here. Let's exit this first and relaunch it. So when I launch over here, you can see the tray. I have the option over here to click onto the connect. I'm going to click on connect here. And as soon as I connect, you will notice that I'm being redirected to another window, which is nothing but the identity provider window. So in this case, I am using SafeNet Trusted Access as an identity provider. We also support third party identity providers. So this is just to secure authentic, securely authenticate to the IDPV server in order to get the ID Prime virtual smart card on this device. So it's not just a single factor authentication. However, we are talking about multi-factor authentication here. I'm going to use the same user James and click on login. And uh, I'm going to use grid based authentication because that's more convenient. So I have to enter my pattern here, but before I enter that, let me quickly show you this. So here is our SafeNet ID Prime virtual and you can see that it's currently blinking it's trying to get connected and it will not connect until i enter all my credentials over here so once it's connect get gets connected it will become green so let's put the pattern and authenticate securely so you see that it will it will become green in some time as soon as the authentication is successful. Yes, it is. And we see that we have the card also available on SafeNet authentication client, right? And you can see that I have a, a James user certificate, which is already created, but I'm going to delete this certificate and let's create a new certificate. So I'm going to delete this certificate and create a new certificate to demonstrate how do we do the certificate generation and all the other aspects. So you see that the card is available but there is no certificate over here. I'm going to create a certificate using a PKCS explorer.exe and uh, you can see that the card is connected to slot one here i'm going to first log into this client and click ok so once i'm able to log in here i have all these options enabled and I'm going to create and generate a RSA certificate, a self-signed certificate and the name I'm going to give it to this certificate is James without any number. So I will remove this or we can say James demo 2 and what the email address would be james at bigcorp.ml. The validity I will let it be 365 days and I'm going to click on OK. So if you see here, there is no certificate currently. The certificate is getting generated at the back end. So once the certificate gets generated successfully, it will be visible on SafeNet authentication client as well.
all right so the certificate is generated you can see the private and public key pair on this too but it will not be visible over here in the SAC so in the SAC what you see is that the certificate James demo 2 is available which is what we just created here right so now we have the certificate available we have the private key pair and the public key pair available on this tool so i'm going to quickly uh, do a signing and verification of some data so i'm going to use my private key and click on sign and verify let's write something like data to sign and sign this data see that the associated signature is being generated and if I click on verify the verification is successful now what if I change the signature instead of six I'll make it seven and try to verify it you can see that the verification is failed however if I change it back to six the verification again is successful so that's how uh, we do the signing and verification and over here it is using a RSA uh, key pair to do the same Now similarly we can also do Encrypt and decrypt so let's write something over here again data to encrypt and Encrypt it so as soon as I click on encrypt you see that the ciphertext is created and if I decrypt the ciphertext and we got the same data back right so what if i change something here instead of three nine if i put like two nine and i try to decrypt so this time it is it will it should give me a error because the cipher text is being changed so it will not be able to decrypt the same data yep so here we go the the error because you know we have changed the cipher text it will not work right so we are going to close this use case so what we have seen is how do we generate a certificate a key pair and we have also seen the same certificate is available on safenet authentication client now after that we did a signing verification encryption and decryption and next thing that we want to i want to demonstrate here is the mobility how how a virtual uh, id prime virtual client is is supports the mobility so currently i am logged into my uh, virtual machine or my laptop and i'm going to log into my virtual machine now uh, using the same user id so i'm going to disconnect it here you will notice that the virtual smart card no longer exists on the safenet authentication client i'm going to close it and i'm going to open my virtual machine here over here i have the same setup i have the id prime virtual client so i'm going to quickly launch that let's first check the middleware and see if we have anything connected there is absolutely nothing connected so i'm going to quickly connect to the id prime virtual server all right so i'm going to keep it here and i'm going to log in with james and again i'm going to use my grid based authentication to log in here and you will notice that it's blinking right now and your virtual card is now connected and the card is now available over here as well so let's check and see that the same james demo 2 card is available on this virtual machine right so so that's how the virtual mach virtual uh, id prime virtual client is basically not a device specific card rather it is a user centric card which travels along with the user so we are not limited to only one device if we have more than one device we can 
seamlessly uh, log in from each particular device and the virtual smart card will be available to us and we will be able to perform the used cases whatever we just discussed